According to German publication Ho.com, a no-deal Brexit would spell disaster for nations such as Austria, which would see its income would collapse by a staggering 724 million euros annually. Europe, without Britain, would have to accept income losses of 40 billion euros per year in the case of a hard Brexit, German Bertelsmann Foundation has now recalculated. According to the figures, Austria gets away comparatively well with 724 million euros a year, which works out as 83 euros per capita. The publication says that Europeans will not have the pain of separation, but will have less money in the stock market. U.S. incomes could rise by around 13 billion euros annually in the case of a hard Brexit and by around 5 billion euros in China. In Russia, a slight increase of around 260 million euros would be expected annually. The study also says China would greatly benefit from Brexit, though the power state's gains are loses for the EU with trade. Study author Dominic Pinedu said Brexit could severely damage the foundations of the world's largest common economic space. Brussels and London must do everything possible to regulate the exit contract. Iceland, Norway, and Switzerland, all of which are economically intertwined by agreements with the EU, would also see their incomes affected. Richard Branson demands second referendum in Brexit warning to May Spain to review making British territory tax haven after Brexit Switzerland would lose one. 34 billion euros according to the renowned Bertelsmann Foundation in its latest study. An extension would give Prime Minister Theresa May time to get her controversial deal through Parliament, according to the EU. A deal with Brussels would mean Europe would lose less. The Bertelsmann research calculated Switzerland would lose 743 million euros, meaning their original calculation would be halved in the event of a UK-EU deal. As for the UK, the British economy would plummet to 32 billion euros from 40 billion should Mrs May scoop a deal with the bloc. Art of Juice, CEO of the Bertelsmann Foundation, said, Brussels and London must do everything in order to regulate the exit contractually. Tom Watson reveals what he needs to back May's deal There's a catch German MEP Elmer Brock demands Britain finish it with no deal Brexit The Prime Minister travelled to the Belgian capital yesterday to meet with EU leaders and make the case for extending Britain's departure from the Brussels bloc to June 30. Brussels offered the Prime Minister a flexible and unconditional approach because of leaders' fears Mrs May will never be able to secure the support of MPs for her controversial deal. The agreement came after seven hours of hard negotiations, which an EU diplomat described as the first moment of broken unity between the EU27 throughout the Brexit process.